This is a reminder that on Sunday, May 27th, Let's Play Novara Autism will be launching Rocket League to the channel. And to celebrate, we'll be welcoming Farwell for Hire with the special charity streams to support Cystic Fibrosis Canada. Look forward to seeing you then as we support this wonderful cause and launch Rocket League here on the channel. So as the sun prepares to set here in um, Namai, let's go ahead and speak with Lord Hien for our next main story quest entitled Fruits of Her Labor. Hien's face is a picture of relief. <sighs> that would have been better avoided, but at least it not, did not end in bloodshed, and judging by Sue's reaction, she remains oblivious to the events of her former life. This was no escape attempt. Nay, it seems she was, it was an offhand request of Gosetsu's which brought her to Numai. She came in search of a persimmon. Huh, and they say fruit is good for the health. I do hope Gosetsu finds the taste to his liking. Well, we have certainly taken the long way around, but let us continue to custom fluminous in our meeting with the ambassador. Alpha Node and Anise should still be there conducting their search. Yeah, hopefully we can encourage them to call it off. Yeah, follow Lord Hien. That's a good girl. So now to the south, to the castle of Fluminus. Where the highly anticipated prisoner exchange is to take place. So let's head on our way over towards getting closer to that. Yeah, let's see if we can... Yeah, we can't necessarily see the sunset because of the clouds. Yeah, got some low-lying cloud blocking our view. But here is Castrum Fluminus, and here's where we'll try and find Lord Hien, among this throng of humanity. It seems our imperial guests have already arrived. It's time to meet with the ambassador. And let's do just that. Yeah, there they are. Including the ambassador himself and his two henchmen. But what's with all the caskets? What a pleasure it is to see you once more, Lord Hien. Not to mention my dear sister. A pleasure to see you too, Ambassador. Forgive us our late arrival. You have our people aboard the airship? Exactly as agreed. We would leave you in no doubt as to the purity of our intentions. I dare say it was the self-same spirit of cooperation which prompted you to bring Yotsuyu here today. Well, that was the plan, Indeed. Was it not? Before excluding her from the exchange, I thought it only fair that you see her condition for yourself. Physically, she is in fine health, but her mind is unchanged. So I see. You don't seem convinced. But all need not necessarily be lost. In anticipation of this tragic turn of events, I took the liberty of inviting some special guests. Are we about to be under attack? Because, yeah, we know he's got tricks in his mind and up his sleeve. And who might you be? At least we know we're not under attack. Ah, Yotsuyu. You look... well. 
Yeah, the parents. He's still trying to con get the memories out. Which causes her to have this happen. Yeah, and I saw he hiding behind his mother. Yeah, she's clearly distressed. Of all the people. Is something wrong, dear sister? These are our beloved parents. Does not the sight of them bring back sweet childhood memories? I think we would beg to differ because I've seen her childhood memories and they weren't necessarily pretty. <gasps> Dropped for Simon and Asahi's little gift that he gave her in the previous patch. Gosetsu. I have to take this to Gosetsu. <laughs> it would seem my little surprise was not sufficient. Apparently not. You needn't glare at me so, Lord Hien. I merely did what any loving son would do for his family. Lest you doubt, I am content to leave the acting viceroy in your care. Pray, treat her as you would any daughter of Dorma. And he's gonna pick up what she dropped. Do not grow too fond of this place, dear sister. You will come back to us ere long. Really trying to drive the point, isn't he? So yeah, scared now she just walks right off. So yeah, wasn't that awkward. We continue with the exchange as planned then. Very good. The structure across the river should serve our needs. We shall await you there with the conscripts. If you would bring your captives. Agreed. Until then, Ambassador. Yeah, if we don't like what this guy is thinking. I really hope there are not already dead bodies in those caskets, unless they're being reserved for us. I knew better than to trust the Sahi, but that was a dirty trick. Still, unpleasant as it was, we have at least put the matter of Suyu's future to rest. I have sent her back to the enclave with Yogiri to give Gosetsu his precious persimmon. Come, let us follow them. Oh, hey there, Dabbing Avocado. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us. You have that look off node. What is it? Oh, nothing of consequence, most like. We can discuss it upon our return. Frickle Frattles with the Meteors? <laughs> They're probably talking about the... Rabanaster or something, I don't know. Hi, Lord Hien. We shall pay a visit to Gosetsu and reassure him about Suyu's fate. He will want to know that the Empire has finally relinquished its claim on her. So there's Gosetsu. Gosetsu, are you awake? My lord, come in, come in. Let's talk a while.
when Tsuyu returned, her eyes were red from weeping. She spoke not a word, simply sat and peeled some fruit she'd brought for me. Yeah, she's had a traumatic experience she so far. She then claimed weariness and retired to her chamber. Tell me, what happened to upset her so? Oh, do you really want to know? The ambassador arranged a surprise reunion with her foster parents. A misguided attempt to restore Yotsuyu to her senses. It was plain their presence caused her great distress, but she seemed otherwise unaffected. Yotsuyu was mistreated as a child, was she not? It was a cruel trick to use her tormentors like that, knowing the pain it could cause. Yeah, it was. I like this Asahi less and less. Oh, you're not alone in thinking that. Be that as it may, he has agreed to allow Yotsuyu to remain with us in Doma. Our primary concern now is to hand over the prisoners without incident and bring our people safely home. There was one other detail at the meeting which caught my attention. Yeah, what was that? I assume you all noticed the rather suspect crates within the castrum. The Imperials were quick to retrieve them afterwards, but I wonder. Out with it, brother. You fear they might contain bombs or war machines? Or they could be caskets. If the Ambassador wanted me dead, he has had ample opportunity. No, assassination is not his intent. But we should be on our guard for other acts of treachery. Indeed. My lord! Forgive me, but the Lady Yotsuyu, she's gone! Again? Gone? I beg your pardons, my lords. I was certain she'd fallen asleep. Aw, oh, man. Now where did she go? No, no, the responsibility is mine. Twas I who gave her a room instead of a cell. She may simply have wandered outside. We will organize search parties. Might I call upon your assistance? Of course. And no need for the apology there, Avocado. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it. like I said, it's my first time playing through that game. And I just was not prepared for that insanely huge difficulty spike for the Nightingale quest. So, as Corinne checks around the Enclave... Help! Help! Who's there? Uh oh. Yeah, remember this guy? Help! Help me! Yeah. The echo now? Yeah. What happened to the parents anyway? Yeah, we see you'll see you running. But where to though? Yeah, she's out of breath already. If only I hadn't remembered. So the bamboo. It's not just bamboo. He should hate me. Yeah, prepared to kill but herself. But I will not suffer his kindness. Not after what I did to him. Who's there? 
Yeah, you're being spared. By your parents. What are you two doing over here, anyway? <gasps> oh, it's you. What are you doing out here in the dark? She was about to commit suicide is what she was trying to do. This is the Enclave, is it? When the soldiers dragged us back to Doma, you were the last person I expected to see. And why is that? You're the bane of our existence, Yotsuyu! A font of misery! Oh, great. You couldn't even do us the simple courtesy of dying, could you? Oh, no. You had to live and taint us with the shame of your failure. We had a perfect life in the capital, and now they're making us wallow in this muddy ruin like common swine. I don't deserve this. Wow. Pretty harsh. Now, now, dear, that'll do. There seems little point in berating the girl when she scarcely remembers her own name. Our time would be better spent contemplating how we're to survive this unhappy predicament. I mean, Asahi dragged you two into this. Shouldn't you be blaming him? <laughs> You've kept your looks at least. I suspect you'd fetch a handsome price with the right buyer. Maybe enough to get us to Kugani and start a new business. For those of you not familiar, um, in the initial main story, Yotsuyu was put into slave trade as a child. Seems like she wants to put it back there. <laughs> ah, my beloved parents. And her memory's back. No sooner do I wake from gentle slumber than the world returns in all its cruelty. Yes. This is how it always was. How it was meant to be. Yeah, he's confused. Like, what? Very well. If I cannot escape my nature, then I shall embrace it. To the very depths I have sunk. My soul steeped in spite and rotten to the core. The self-righteous hide behind justice, but I need no such mask. Father, mother, was it not you who made me into this monster? Who taught me the truth of this miserable world? <laughs> yeah, they were cruel to her. For years I knew naught but the taste of pain and humiliation. But the time has come to savor my vengeance against Doma. Against all my enemies. Ah, uh, crap. And it begins... With you! <laughs> Yotsuyu! <laughs> yeah. What? This is what happens when you try and sit, tell a girl she's gonna be put back in a slave trade. She loses her mind. No! And of course, she wasn't done. Yeah. Stabs both of her parents and has the bloodlust back in her. With Asahi looking on with happiness and joy. The twisted happiness that he well has. Well done, dear sister. Did I not say you would come back to us? Brother dearest, what a surprise. Not really. He has been trying to get your memory back. You always were a cold-blooded little worm. I doubt you thought twice about sending our parents to their deaths. 
Your dagger yet drips with their blood, and you presume to judge me? To be frank, I didn't think you had the strength to slay them so cleanly. A single thrust each? I'm impressed. But surely you can't be satisfied with murdering a pair of doddering elders. You yearn for a deeper vengeance, and the power to see it through. Which is obviously what he wanted. Yeah, want your gift back? So now that we're out of Echo... Please... I don't... want to die! Well, to say that you brought this on yourself, good sir, is an understatement. Any sign of her? Oh, I don't think you want to find out what happened to what her. What happened here? Yeah, bad news there, Lord Hien. I knew what would happen if she recovered. And still, I did nothing. You say she left with her brother? That's right. Whatever he wants with her, he was willing to pay for it with his parents' lives. But this is neither the time nor the place. We must gather the others. Indeed. Yeah. So with two old corpses standing in front of us, or in this case, lying in front of us. Yeah. Back inside the Kien Khan. Let's go ahead and speak with Lord Hien again. We have recovered the nobody's remains and will hold cremation anon. Would that they had never again set foot in Doma. Yeah, because then they would still be alive and being still being mad at Yeltsuyu. I broke the news to Gossetsu myself. He was quiet. I think it best that he be allowed some time alone with his thoughts. I think so too. So, yeah. This quest is over and we're taking the 1,262 1, guild that goes with it. Stand strong and unified!